Paper Sun presents No Spar over on the smartest kid in class. Double check by award winning teacher. Everything you need to ace math in one big fat notebook from the brains behind Brain Quest. Based on this notebook from the author of this card series. And today we start with Unit 1 The Number System. Part 1. Types of numbers, the number line, and absolute value. Let's start with the types of numbers in Unit 1. There are six types of numbers, which I'll be representing with different highlighted colors. So, let's use this, 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 and this. Actually, let's use this. Let's start. So firstly, I will, sh I will tell you each of the types of numbers. First, the whole numbers. The whole numbers. Now what is a whole number? A whole number is a number with no fractional or decimal part and it cannot be negative, such as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And in the graph I will show you right now, these are the whole numbers. Next up are the natural numbers. The natural numbers. Now the natural numbers are whole numbers from number one and up. And some teachers say that these are actually counting numbers. For example, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And as I said, these are counting numbers. And on the graph, it is going to be right inside the whole numbers. So these are the natural numbers. Okay. So now that that's set up, let's get on to the next one, which I'm, you might not be able to see, so I'll be written very well. Just go with pencil eventually. Might not. Integers. I don't use the old version. I just hope you can see them. Integers. Let me set on up for pencil for you guys. In Tears. Hope you see that. And what is this? What is this? Well, these are these are all the whole numbers, including the positive and negative numbers, such as in this case, I'll just write them down. Minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and so on from both sides. It can go infinitely this direction, infinitely this direction. And so, on the graph, it would be here. integers next one the rational numbers
irrational numbers. What are these? These are any numbers that can be written by dividing one integer by a letter. Like in plain English, any number that can be written as a fraction or a ratio. An easy way to remember this is a rational's root word ratio. So it can be one half, which is also equal to 0 0.5. 0 0.25, which is also equal to 1 quarter, negative 7, and which can be written as negative 7 over 1, and so on. And so these rational numbers are right here. And I just ran out of space. And now for the irrational numbers. Let's put them here. Irrational numbers. They are a number that cannot be written as a fraction because the decimal goes on without repeating. Like pi, for example, which is 3.141592625. And dot, dot, dot. These dot, dot dots means that it continues on forever. Or the square root of 2. Every number, and every number has a decimal sign, so for example, 2 can be written as 2.0000. However, you can spot an irrational number because the decimal expansion goes on forever without repeating. So then, the irrational numbers should be here. I don't know. Well, that, 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 pretty much, that pretty much ends it. Uh, let me read right here, will ya? Because I just ran out of space. Whole numbers? Sorry, natural numbers? Whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, and until now, the irrational numbers are outside this dome, and unlike this, so I misdrew that. And finally, for our last version, are and these are going to be real numbers. So let me, I'll just, i just run the color back. Uh, yeah. Let's use and go into the real numbers. Real numbers are everything. All of these are real numbers. All of these are real numbers. And they can be pi square root of 2, 5 minus 17, 0 0.132, 5.11111, and so on, 3.141, 3.141, and so on. And those are real numbers. These are the real numbers. And this is basically all of the types of numbers. And now let's get into one of the most important and very, very simple time things about the number systems. The number line. The number line is basically a line that starts in the middle with zero and then goes off infinitely in both directions. In the right line, it is all positive numbers. In the left, there are just negative numbers going in this direction, in this order. And I guess you can see the pattern already, if you already know basic arithmetic. And you probably do, or else you you wouldn't even know how to search up on YouTube. Anyways. Positive numbers 
are go are numbers that go in this direction. Negative numbers go in this direction. And positive numbers can mean like things like uh, you have more credit in your account or you have more money in your account. While negative numbers could mean that you are in debt or you are in uh, you you owe the bank some money. You owe someone some of your dices. How many dices can be written as a number? It will eventually get to that later. And now let's talk about absolute values. Absolute numbers and absolute values. To find the absolute value of something, it's basically this. What is a minus 50's absolute value? Well, to find it, we'll have this. These two lines. These two lines mean absolute value. Means absolute value. And the the absolute value lines mean that we will have to find the distance of th this number on the number line from zero. And that is basically taking away the minus. Or if you already have a minus. But you never take away the plus sign. That would be 50. Let's do some other examples. Minus 49 absolute value. Nine, that's equal to 49. 51's absolute value, that is 51, but what does this mean? Well, that means it's a minus 1, it's a minus 1, well, actually, this will be in a different episode, a minus, and then the absolute value of 90 minus 98, and that's 98, it's still minus 98. This part is 98 and this part is where the negative sign comes from and yeah that's, that's basically absolute value for you and if you are and here is it you practically mastered the video version of everything you need to ma ace math in one big fat notebook and if and if you actually do have the book then I then I will consider you guys actually doing the doing the answers, and they do give you answer, the answer. Doing they, they do give you the answer in the next page, but please do not cheat. And it's a very in informal way to learn math in the middle school, at least in American middle school, and that's basically it. So I hope to see you guys then. Shout out, peace.